Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Stylosa and this is the absolutely insane new weapon in Apex Legends. It is the bow check. It is the brand new compound bow and it is frankly absolutely disgusting. And in this video, I'm going to give you a very quick rundown on how this works, give you some tips how to use it. And I'm just going to show you how insane this is. Think of it like a wingman on steroids. It is insane. So this is a new class of weapon in Apex Legends. It's a marksman weapon. Now, the thing with this class is what they've done is they've moved the triple take, uh, the G7 scout into this category. Um, the sniper rifles now are the likes of your longbow, your Kraber. So, yeah, it's a new category. It's sort of consolidate, consolidating. Con, con, I, yeah, I guess consolidating is the right word. It's sticking together weapons that have got a similar sort of use, like the 30-30 repeater as well as in the new marksman category. You also get a new type of ammo. This is arrows. Now, this might get used for other weapons in the future. Who knows? But obviously, you use arrows with a bow. So it makes sense. <laughs> now, what I want to kind of show you guys is just the way this works. And uh, yeah, so I've been messing around with this for about an hour in the firing range. And it is just, it is an insane weapon. So first thing I want to show you, actually. So if I just grab a scope. So I've got the times three on now. Just notice where I'm aiming. I'm going to do a fully charged arrow and fire it. You see how fast that travels that distance and gets over there. Now, if I go and fire at some of these targets that are a bit further away, look how fast this is firing. 70 damage on a hit. I mean, these are obviously non-critical hits. If we do a crit, there's the bots. Boom. We're getting one, two, three. You know, this is a lot of damage we're putting out here. Now, remember, this doesn't have any hop-ups at the moment. And this weapon, very, like, specific to it, it gets two ridiculous hop-ups. Now, when you spot them... And when you're using them properly, oh my god, it is it is sick. One of them, though, is like a skill-based hop-up. It's really cool. So, yeah, you can use different scopes. So, you can get the times one. Beautiful. You can get the times two. Good stuff. You can get the times one hollow. Yep. I mean, you all know what these scopes look like. The time, the variable, the one, two variable. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and the times two, which is probably, uh, probably would be my favorite for this. Because I do see it as like a mid-range sort of weapon it's not an extreme long range weapon like a kramer right but it's like pretty good mid-range so how does this work well you can't like what i want you well what I want you guys to do is just look at this so i'm tapping fire whether this is you know you're playing on consoles you're tapping whatever button it is on the controllers i don't actually know because don't play on consoles i play on pc i'm tapping left mouse button you know sometimes it fires when the bar in the middle of the screen actually gets well enough charge right it'll fire so basically about there it'll fire so if you want to fire really quick this is about as fast as you can fire. Now, might not look terrible. I mean, like, you know, look at this. Close range. You could be, like, maybe just pumping arrows into someone. These are not fully charged, by the way. It's, yeah, it's not great, right? You're probably going to want to always go for this. Always go for that, trying to land the headshot. This is why it's similar to the wingman in this kind of way. Also, the animations are sick. Like, when you crouch, look at that. It's so good. I I, it's just so good. Well, of course, you can bring up the sights as well. Use it for more long-range engagements. You can see how accurate this is. There isn't really fall off. I mean, there is. So if I do an extreme long range shot, you'll notice fall off here. You see, there is fall off, but it's at such a range that you can pretty much be aiming at anything you need to be aiming at. Just sort of move up here. <laughs> I do love this champ. Uh, champ. Oh, what game am I in? Legend. <laughs> You're looking, I never said hero. But yeah, like even at this range, right? Look at this. This is. This is going to do a lot of work. It's so... I, I feel like the projectile is just moving too quick. It's absolutely disgusting. Anyway, I want to show you guys how it gets even more disgusting. Because, uh, yeah, oh my lord. Also, it makes me laugh. On the weapon inspect... No, I don't want the P2020. As much as I love it, I want this. On the weapon inspect, there's a magazine of, of, of bolts. or Well, they're arrows, aren't they? Of arrows. And uh, you don't seem to reload that ever. You just can constantly fire your arrows. <laughs> Maybe for balance reasons, they might actually need to give us this. I don't know. Anyway, on the ground here, we've got this. This is the Dead Eyes Tempo, but I'm not going to show you that just yet. I'm going to show you this. Shatter caps. Now, this can be applied to the... Uh, in fact, let's go grab it. Where is it? It's over here, mate. Grab it. Here we go. Some wet ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. It can be applied to this. And we'll show you it in... Uh, it, 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 I, oh, oh, yeah. It's it's just basically it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no. I've covered my boat. Oh, what am I doing? It's okay. I'll get a bow back. It's fine. Yeah, okay. It's worked out fine. It's worked out good in, in, the, in the long run. Okay, excellent. Right. Enough rambling. Let me show you this because this is just mental. Let's get a closer range scope. Okay. So what I want to do here is I'm going to fire at this bot. Standard. Notice the arrow is blue. This means you're just using the standard fire mode. However, when you've got the shatter caps hop up, 
what this means is you've got a different alternate fire mode. And you might notice in the bottom right of the screen, there is a little sort of arrow and two, two squares. Well, you hit the fire mode selector. Now, suddenly, it changes to a yellowy orange color. This turns it into a shotgun. You've heard this right. It turns it into a shotgun. So at this range, obviously, it's not great. But at closer range, this is going to be pretty damn good, right? Because you have basically got a very, very fast option for doing damage at close range. Now, obviously, it's not as much damage as the primary fire. Because even if you're landing these as headshots, we'll, we'll let this bot totally come back and then we'll hit him in the head. Look, watch this. Fully in the head. 98 damage. 98 damage. And then he's dead. But if we change it back to the single shot, 123 damage, and he's dead. Obviously, the trade-off here is you can hit this much easier. So if I'm firing from here, <laughs> from there, I'm landing hits, right? I'm getting more shots into the body, less chance of missing. Whereas if I've got this, obviously I need to land the arrows directly on the target as I'm not going to get any damage, right? That's the benefit of that. I really like that. So, hey, all things considered there, cool weapon, cool bow. But then it gets a bit ridiculous because you get this. This bad boy is dead eyes tempo firing at the perfect moment increases fire rate what this does is changes the it basically gives you a mini game what the hell was that that i just seen this i just seen the target in Fox three, the rails. i love the vo the vo is so good anyway don't know what's going on there maybe it's just like dev test build madness anyway so You'll now notice in the middle of the screen that I have, when I'm firing, you see it goes blue. But look at the other, how can I, even, like the other reticule, whatever that is, right? You'll notice it goes blue, 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 blue. See how I'm firing quicker now? Because I'm in the tempo. I'm in the zone. Look how fast I'm firing. This is absolutely stupid. Now I've lost it. Now I've lost it. So I'm not firing. Hit double blue. Didn't get it. Hit double blue. Didn't get it. Hit double blue. Hit double blue. Now I'll fire quicker. But you have to change the, the rate at which you fire, right? So it's actually kind of difficult. So, okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got it. We lost it. Boom. We lost it. We lost it. Okay, we lost it really bad there. Let's see if we can get it. We can get this. It's a little bit more difficult when it's... There you go. I had it for a little bit then. So what I'm trying to show you guys here is if you land this, right, this is like a skill thing to do. So imagine if you're in a fight and you're like, you know, you're sliding around doing all kinds of stuff and you're like charging up shots and you're like, boom, and then you get the rapid shots and they're coming in quick. Oh my God, you're doing tons of damage. But guess what? This is incredibly powerful when you've got the uh, hop up activated. So we're just straight up like, boom, boom, boom. See if we can get it. I feel like this is going to be hard to keep going in a fight once you've activated it. And it's always got to be the fully charged shot. See? There we go. I'm keeping it fully charged. I'm keeping it fully charged. That is just disgusting. In a fight, though, what's going to happen is eventually you'll get muscle memory for this. So you're going to be able to see the really sick bow players are just going to be like, oh my god, how much damage are they putting out here? This is mental. This is just sickening. It's sickening. It's absolutely sickening. It's like, what the hell? This is sick. This is so good. It's a skill-based weapon. I just think it's a bit good. What happened over there? <laughs> I just think it's... Uh... <laughs> it's really good. All right, so I want to show you as well. I want to show you the 30-30 repeater. Uh, let's get some attachments for this bad boy. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. In fact, give me a, give me a close guy. Again. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. So we all know how this works. Yep, great. We've all seen it before. Excellent, excellent. But now you can turn it into a shotgun. So you need the hop up. You need the shatter caps. You've got shatter caps to quit. Now you've got a shotgun. Feels good, right? Feels good. Yeah. Because if you're coming into a fight at point back range here and you're spamming people with this, oh my God, this suddenly, with, with extended mag I've got, obviously, this becomes ridiculous. Like you can use it as, as your medium range weapon. And I think it's actually a really nice buff for this because you can use it as your medium range weapon. You know, you just sort of chill in, whatever. It's all great. And if you need to, with the same weapon, it gives you the different option of the close range engagement where you can be like, you don't have to be as accurate and you're still landing the hits. You're still getting the shots. And honestly, I think that is sick.
But the star of this video is this bow. And I just feel like this is a really, really powerful weapon. I mean, if I move over here sort of thing. So good moving. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm really far back now. I don't have the right scope for this. But even so over here. Wrong fire mode. You can't change fire mode as well when you've drawn the arrow. But look, look, I'm pretty much aiming directly on the targets here. You don't really have to. There's a bit of delay. Obviously, this is very long range. But, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the projectile speed might get altered. But this is just ridiculous. It's so good. Like, this is so good. Even, like, firing like this. Oh, I've got the speed now. Look at that. I'm in the flow. I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. What is this weapon? I'm in the zone. It's so good. It is so good. Can you kind of see it, like, uh, through the scope? So I'll find out. Oh, my. Okay. No, it was almost in the zone. It's easier to do it from this point of view because you've got a bigger UI in the middle of the screen, right? But yeah, this, you get into a flow with this, you're going to be putting out so much damage. And also, because you don't need to reload, I'm afraid this is a way better option than the likes of your 30-30 repeater because you've got the downtime of the reload. This is just going to be based on if you can find the arrows. And if you've got the arrows, you're just going to be pumping out the damage. And what are they going to be able to do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, what a weapon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've been enjoying the Apex Legends coverage that i've been doing on the channel might be a slight departure from what we were used to obviously with a ton of overwatch stuff but i have dipped into apex legends every now and again but yeah i really hope you guys are enjoying it and if this video has helped you and it's been an enjoyable video to watch then do consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel as well that helps a load and you can follow me on everything which is at silosa on instagram and twitter and all of that good stuff all right guys i'll catch you on the next one <laughs> Toodaloo.